Uh, talk a little bit about New York City as, as the home base for the show and how you help translate that into the world of 1980s Cold War DC. Well, it's really easy. I mean, I think if you're going to shoot something set in Washington, D.C. In, in the early 1980s, what could you do better, really, than come to 2014 and a different city? <laughs> and then have a massive hurricane the first season and a polar vortex the second. I'm really looking forward to season three. I know we all are. Um, we always get stories from these guys about you know, getting stopped on the subway. I mean, do you get a lot of attention on the streets? Uh, yeah, people, I mean, it certainly feels like the audience is growing uh, uh, and more, more and more people, uh, you know, uh, are, are becoming fans of the show. Even like when we're shooting sometimes, don't people like oh, participating yeah, yeah. in the... And people don't know that it's shot in New York. I'm always amazed. I mean, people really feel like it's in Washington, D.C., which is the point, of course, and I'm glad it's working. But it is, it is amazing that we're shooting in all these little corner streets in Brooklyn or... Queens or all, all over the city, and it, and it really does uh, uh, pass for Washington, D.C. Some of the magic of, of, of just the right angle, uh, just blocking out just enough so that it really does look like it could be a suburban D.C. street.